Hello guys, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Guildenware. So if you guys remember in the last episode, we barely stayed uh, stayed in business. Um, all because we uh, released um, Poker Guild and Rat. We are still in, in business here. I think we're gonna develop quickly another game in the uh, for the young people since it's a strong audience right now. And, and 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 the game link really seems to be the big deal here so let's let, let's do what uh, like Nintendo did let's just keep releasing these poker guild and red games more and more and more and um, and eventually people will get tired of them but but it, it, it's a big it's a big uh, business here so uh, let, let, let's keep doing this let's uh, do ghost matic version 3.0 and this time we're gonna do my next Pokemon game that I owned, it was actually the silver, the silver with the, with the new Pokemon, which which I kind of find peculiar because I really like the silver game, but um, I really believe that the, the only the first uh, 152 Pokemon are the real Pokemon. The rest are just really cheap and, and not so good. So let's do this one here, and it's of course going out on the game link, of course. And uh, let's start developing. Here we go. 2D graphics as always. And hopefully people won't get uh, mad because we release a sequence right after. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. We don't need cutscenes for this. And let's just keep doing the same thing as did before because apparently it really worked. Let's see if this is actually going to work. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, let's try doing the exact same thing as we did before. And this time, we're gonna market it if we can. In magazines. There we go. Got a bit of hype. Basic sounds. Pikachu! And, 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 and graphics. Here we go. All good. This might be a really bad idea, like releasing a game so soon after... Oh, the, the Dreamcast is out. I never, I never owned the Dreamcast. Uh, have any of you guys owned it? Oh, that game sold good. Let's see if this this one sells as well. Oh no, the young, the young. Just as we're about to click finish. Oh, that sucks. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing to do about that now. Okay, no new records though. That should be expected with only Joey working on on the. Uh, on, on, on this, this ship now, I guess. Okay, let's see here. Oh, versatile, release it. I, I never get to read this, it's too fast. All right. Okay, while we're waiting for a um, report on how we did, we can do some research, I guess. So uh, you're gonna research, um, let's see here. Rich backstory, soundtrack, video playback, dialogue tree. Oh, we can create one of my, my, my most favorite RPG games ever. It's called Baldur's Gate. Oh, I have to do that. I have to do that. I must do it. Ah, uh, in two months, the Vino Aces will take off the market. Well, that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. They don't like the sequel. The focus on gameplay served this game very well. Uh, and this will give me free. Thank you, Game Hero. That's amazing. You suck. The latest game by Guildenware has had reviewers scratching their heads. Rather than bringing a new and innovative game to the market, they come and delivered another sci fi slash RPG game, uh, which is more or less the same setting as the previous game. Aww, oh, that's a bad game. I think Pokemon and Silver was simply developed too soon after the previous game with not enough innovation in technology and design. Oh well, here we go. I I, I knew I knew that this might have been. Um... Oh, trying to milk the franchise? No, no, that's not true. Okay, kid, it actually was. Oh no, no problem. We're gonna do a new game. Uh this is this is just like me. Just when it's going all right, right after, I completely screw up. So is there anything, uh, let's just check here, we've got dialogue tree. What else do we need for this, um, 
new game that we're creating. 2D graphics version 3. Let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna roll on this and hope that we can make Baldur's Gate. Oh, we're gonna call it Golden Skate. Why not? Of course. All right. All right. We're gonna call it Gildens Gate One. It's a mature game, very much. It's a. Uh, it's a fantasy. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Fantasy RPG. It's for PC. We're gonna, gonna do, do it on Ghost Geomatic version 3.0. the graphics can I create a new engine maybe before we do that can I create a new engine not sequel uh, custom engine I have oh they cost too much all right let's just let's just go with this Gildens gate one it's a great game, guys. If you are interested in like fantasy RPG, Dungeons and Dragons thing kind of thing, you should check it out. It's a very old game, but it's really one of the best that I ever played. And I even play it sometimes as well. I think I complete it at least once per year. It's like an annual thing that I do sometimes. Just com just replay all good games. Okay, very high on story and quest. We need simple cutscenes, liner story. Save game and why can't we choose dialogue tree? Is it because it's not in our engine? Oh, maybe it needs to be in our engine. Anyway, we need to release something. So let's 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 just do this actually. Um, gameplay engine. Here we go. Oh no! Look, we're already back in the red again. Ah, Poker Guild and Silver. Pretty big fail. AI companions, artificial intelligence, level design, dialogues is really high. There we go. Oh, this is really a gamble. It, it's, it's, it's a niche, it's a niche game. Baldur's Gate. World design very high, graphics not so much, sound a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we have to release very soon. It's we're gonna go bankrupt soon. Do the box, 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 box. Here we go. Okay, come on. Gilden Skate One, one of my favorite games. In in like forever. It's like 15 years old. I don't care. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. Don't, don't. Okay, let's do some contract work first. <laughs> Come on! Oh! Oh, I feel, I feel like pooping. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Ah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, overall, a mediocre game. Fantasy and RPG are great. It's a great combination. All right. Good game. All right. It's all good. Let's go on the selling board. Here we go. How 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 deep can we go here? Oh, look at all these sales. Oh, oh! We're actually doing quite good here. Look at all these sales. All right, we're rolling. We're all back on track again. Let's just do some quicker contract work while we are waiting for um, this game to to sell out. I guess. All right. Come on, do the technology. Look at this. Look at this. In two months, the master V. A bit taken off the market, alright. I don't care. Oh, look at all this cash. Half a million! Alright, now we can create a new engine. And this time we're gonna create it on... 2D graphics version 3. We have stereo sound. And we have a dialogue tree, alright. Don't really want steering wheel. Level editor? Nah. Open world. Day-night cycle. 
Do we want to include 3 graphics? I guess we can. We, we, we might need it for later on. Uh, we're gonna call this ghost version 4.0. Actually, let's call it, um... Should we just keep calling the same name? Alright. If, uh, uh, if, if you guys know, know a good name for an engine, be sure to post it in the comments. And I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll check you guys' comments and see if I can uh, make up some, some cool names for, um... For the engines. And also, also if you have any cool name for games, that, that, that'll work too, I guess. Let's, let's do this. Oh, look at all this research here. Joey is working really hard on making a new engine here. It sold almost a million. Oh, the PlayStation 2! It's out! Really? Already? What year is it? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. A solid upgrade. Include function to, to support DVD titles and even backward compatibility with PlayStation PlayStation 1 games. Alright, I, I had a PlayStation 2 actually. Didn't really have that many games. What, what game did I have? Um, I think I had some sort of a game called Demon Stone, but I didn't really use... Uh... Oh, I also played uh, Star Wars the, the Force Unleashed on my PlayStation 2. Oh, we can make it. We can make a Star Wars game. Alright. A game convention? Should we do that? Or do we want to make use the money on a new game? We are creating a new engine, we don't really have a game. Let's just do it anyway. Alright. Here we go. That's all. All, all news. We don't need the news. We, we know already what's gonna happen. Because we live in the future. So, that's how we know. Alright, let's see here. The PC software... My Micronoft, the inbox. I think that's the Xbox actually. All right. So this is this when the Xbox comes out, competitive to a play play system, a play PlayStation. <laughs> All right. The PlayStation Two is now out. All right. But but we're gonna create. Oh, I don't know if that's that gonna make us any uh, more selling for the games. Golden Gate One. Hmm. Maybe? Is it gonna speed up the sales again? Uh oh, proposition. Decrypt. If you want to play wall games, then transfer... Oh no, we, we don't have the cash for that, I'm sorry. Maybe some other time we can do some espionage. Oh, we are running out of cash very fast. Come on, Joe. We just need to, we just need this new engine. The launch of PlayStation Play System Two has been a phenomenal success. I know that. All right. Okay. Well, the PlayStation Two is really, really doing well. It seems. But that's okay. Here we go. The new engine is complete. Let's develop something before we run out of time. What should we develop? What kind of game? I'm not sure. Should should we develop the new Gilden Gate 2? Or should we wait? I think it's probably best that we wait. Let's see if we can make a sequel to something awesome. Let's see here. Um, not happy public faces. That didn't work. Um... Let's make a, a sequel to Gamma 2, alright. It's a small game, it's a mature military simulation game. It's, um, oh. It's called Gamma 3. And we're doing it on, on the uh, PC, of course. The new engine, here we go. We're gonna do it on... 3D graphics version 2, I think. Why did I include uh, version 1 2D graphics on my engine? And text-based. Oh god. Okay, let's do this. 
Oh no, this is gonna be really deep, balls deep low. We don't need story or simple cutscenes in a simulation game. Don't need story quest. Engine high. Here we go. I'm not sure we're gonna make this in time. We don't need AI, I think. Or do we? Better AI at least. No dialogues. Just level this fight. Sign artificial intelligence. Here we go. Oh, look at that money just dwindling out of our stash here. Can we do it? Are we gonna go bankrupt now? Don't scratch your head, come on. Oh god. Day and night cycle, open world. Uh, I think we're gonna go bankrupt if you go below one 150k, I think. I'm not completely sure. I don't remember how this. Here we go. Oh, this, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be another fail. But we have we need some money. We need some money really bad, so. Oh, I feel so bad. Gamma 2 was such a successful game. This is just gonna be crap. Oh! Oh, a seven, a seven, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine. All right, all right, all right. Come on, eight. Oh, here we go, played for, played it for days, informed gamer. Very enjoyable. This is great, it's, it's the new engine. It's the new engine, it does all the things. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, look at those sales. Wow, all right, we are in business. Great responses. Critics praised that Gamma 3 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. I told you guys, it's a new engine, it's doing all the good things here. Can we research something, actually? Um, Multi-genre, maybe? Uh, character progression? Let's do character progression. I really feel bad like having so so little money all the time. And it's only Joey working on all, 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 all this thing here. It seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. New topics? But isn't all the games new topic? Like... I guess we can do a history, like, um, I don't know, mm, a history game, is that any good? A history game with, uh, I don't know, <laughs> history game, game with, with easter eggs, maybe? A history joystick game, let's do, let's do, let's do branching story. That could be interesting to see what we can make with, with a branching story. Some really cool RPG, RPG games actually. Might be possible with that combo. Agame 3 is selling really well, you, you could say here. Look at this. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Uh, what can we do with this uh, thing here? We actually need a whole new engine if you want to include like character progression or, or multiplayer or branching story. So let, let's create the sequel to uh, Gilden Gate 1. How long time is that ago? Let's see here. It's two years ago. Alright, that, that, then it's okay to make a, a, a sequel I guess. It's gonna be a medium sized game. You can call it uh, Gilden's Gate 2. No, actually, um, I, I can't fit in the title. All right, if you guys are, if you guys know the series, you know what that, that this was the first uh, uh, um, I can't even fit the. Ah, God damn it! All right, 
if you guys with like uh, have ever played Baldur's Gate, you might know that this is the first expansion to. Uh, so we're just gonna copy that because we uh, we're good at copying, I guess. So here we go. And new engine here, major, medium game or small game? That's the question. I, I think we can probably make a better small game than a medium game right now. We're also only one person. And we're gonna use a 2D graphics version 3. It's gonna be very interesting to see what we can bring with that. Only one point. Okay, development stage 3. Simple cutscenes, liner story. Save game, story quest really high. Engine, not so much. Gameplay, there we go. Fantasy RPG. Stop scratching your head, come on. Jesus. Oh, I kind of like that we only like one person. AI companions, dialogue tree. We can finally do dialogue tree. Better dialogues. Here we go. And artificial intelligence. Oh, I want all these to be high though. There we go. Oh, this is good. I think I think this is gonna be a good game, but I'm not uh, completely sure actually. Uh, stereo sounds, open world, day and night cycle. Doesn't really have to be open world, does it? Let's let's make it open world anyway. There we go. It's gonna be a great fantasy slash RPG game. I think. I hope. Stop scratching your head. Come on. M box got released. All right. Xbox. I, I never had an Xbox actually, I, and and I, I don't think I'm getting one actually. <laughs> uh, the Xbox One seems a bit uh, too focused on TV, I think, and I don't I don't really watch that much TV, so I, I don't think I care. Oh, we have lost cash. Come on. Oh, new records. All right. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gonna be a great game. I feel. I hope. The Gilden Skate 1 Tales of the Sword Coast. That's what the uh, expansion name is called. And here we go. New research, achievements, and mini games. It's gonna it's gonna sell well, come on. Give you us, come on. Give us something good. Oh is that a 10? Is it a 10? Uh, nine, nine, nine. Oh, is it a 10? Is it a 10? I think I see a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, we we don't we don't any, need any more any other people that than Joey to do this. Look at all this, wow, great, great views here. We're just gonna do some publishing. I mean contract work. In the meanwhile, while waiting for the money to flow in, let's do um, um play test. Why not? Here we go. Guildenware has recently released a sequel to their game Gilden Ga Gilden Skate 1, the newest game in the series, titled Gilden Skate 1 TOCS SC, I mean, was met with great responses. Critics praised that Gilden Gate 1 as a new engine. There you go, new engine does it all. Let's go to G3 with this game here, why not? Oh look at all look at this game selling. Like mad. Rank 7 on the sales chart, alright. That's just great. Let's do some research, I think. And we're gonna research... Um, rich backstory. I guess we can do that, why not. We're gonna make a new engine. Oh, a stellar effort by Gildenware. We should win a prize by Ronald Keen Smash. Oh, that's gonna bring the sales up high. Oh, it's still going. You almost have a million. Oh, jeez. And here we go. Our new game on a game convention. If G3, it's hopefully gonna get a lot more people to buy it. I hope. Let's see here if anything happens. Oh, so many people. Almost 100,000 people came to up the booth this year. Alright. Look at all. Look at this game selling. 
Is there any, any more research we should, we should do, do just before? Just before we start, we can start our, our, our new game. Let's see here, achievements, easter eggs, mini games, soundtrack, we can record that. I mean, research that. Advanced cutscenes, all right, I think. Let's do some contract work and get our research up and, and then we do some um, advanced cutscenes, I think. If we can make this time. Come on, Joey. No! No! Oh, Is there a smaller one here? Oh, I could definitely do this one. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, now that we have 1.2 million, we can create an even better engine for this. Alright, let's create even a higher engine. Ghost Diomatic version 5.0. It's going to be really good. Um, we have 2D graphics and 3D graphics. And actually, let's just focus on 2D graphics because we have a higher version of that. So let's, so let's, uh, let's not include 3D graphics. Let's try to go the 2D graphics way. Why not? And we can do branching story. Multiplayer, character progression. I think this is it. We don't need gamepad for this. We just we, we're gonna focus on, on on PC development. I think it's probably the one that uh, we, we're doing best at at the moment. And here we go. We are creating a new engine. And I think I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll check out this new engine here, and we'll keep on making great games, bestsellers. And we have these two new amazing games. We have Gamma, Gamma and Gilden Skate. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And I'll hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.